G'day folks. Well, I've done a little bit of work on the Yanmar again. I've got the radiator mounted again. Some good second-hand hoses and a bit of new hose. Seems to be holding coolant pretty well, apart from a little bit on the floor, but I think that's just where I'm bleeding it. Yeah, it's just from bleeding the system. Uh, yeah, let's give it a bit of a run. I've just mildly wired the governor to lowest speed setting. Almost lowest. Marvellous. <laughs> Still a little bit concerned about the hydraulic pump, but I'm stuffing a fair bit of oil through it just to keep it happy. It's a gear type pump, so as long as the gears and everything's lubricated, she should be pretty happy. But that's my only real concern with running it without proper hydraulic systems hooked up to it. And it's better than running it dry anyway. If I didn't have anything hooked up to that, that pump would be trashed by now. It just burn it out. You just run it dry and gone. So, yeah. Apart from the hydraulic pump, this thing is a roaring success. I just need to find some good hydraulic lines, get my tank out of storage, set that up somewhere. Can't really set it up in front because I've got to have a minimum air clearance for the radiator. So I'll probably end up cutting that off there, weld a cross brace across it and just make some mounting feet and everything and mount the tank over the top. So I'll have hydraulic oil tank over the top, gravity feed to the intake for the pump and high pressure output to a valve block. Should work quite well. As long as I've got a minimum service area to get the rocker cover and all that sort of stuff off, it's the main thing. I don't want to cover the engine up too much and obstruct things like the radiator or anything like that. If not, I'll jack the engine right up and put the tank underneath. That's also another good option. Either way, thanks for watching.